Let's get things rolling in this video. Hi, I'm Mike. Sometimes parts and components are very similar to each other, but there are key differences between them that result in different applications for each. In each episode of this video series from Radwell TV, we compare parts that are similar to each other, but also have their differences. Today I will be explaining the similarities and differences between a ball bearing and a roller bearing. The biggest similarity between these two mechanical devices is that they are both rolling element bearings used to facilitate smooth movement and reduce friction between two moving or rotating surfaces. A ball bearing is a type of rolling element bearing that carries loads while reducing friction of moving machine parts. A ball bearing is made up of these four components, an outer and inner ring, a cage, and a rolling element that is spherical shaped. The spherical rolling elements are placed between the outer ring and the inner ring and housed in a cage to be kept separate from each other. When the load moves, the rolling elements will roll around the inner raceway while the outer raceway remains stationary. Another type of rolling element bearing, roller bearings, are similar to ball bearings in that they are designed to carry a load while minimizing friction. A roller bearing is made up of the same four components, an outer and inner ring, a cage, and a rolling element that is cylinder shaped. Operating in a similar function as a ball bearing, a roller bearing will have its barrel shaped rolling elements housed in the cage between the inner and outer races. The rolling elements will carry the load and rotate in between the two raceways. The biggest difference between the two is the shape of their rolling elements. A ball bearing's rolling element is a spherical shaped ball, while a roller bearing's rolling element is a cylinder shape. Due to this design difference, both have different capabilities. With a roller bearing cylinder shaped rolling element, the contact between the inner and outer ring is a line instead of a point, like in a ball bearing. This spreads the load over a large area, allowing a roller bearing the ability to handle greater loads than a ball bearing. However, a roller bearing is not capable of handling thrust loads, while ball bearings can. Also, a ball bearing is able to handle greater speeds, while roller bearings are limited to low speed applications. Though these two bearings perform the same function in a similar way, knowing the key difference between them will provide the knowledge of which one best suits your needs and applications. Thanks for watching this Compare the Parts episode. For information about Radwell, visit radwell.com or connect with us on social media.